YouTube, what it do, man? Y'all already know who I am. Man, man, grind hard, checking in again with another video. And today, I got a real special video for y'all boys. But before we get into this video, y'all already know the routine. If you new here, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. And before this video is over, make sure you drop a comment down below in the comment section for your boy. Last but not least, go ahead and smash that like button right now. Before we get into the video, hit the like button right now. It don't cost you nothing to hit the like button. Just go ahead and smack that like button. Let's get into it. So today, I finally got my official hotspot and lethal zone method for y'all boys. For the longest, I was thinking the only way to get lethal zone is to do the artist shooting drill with lethal shooter. Some of y'all might have already known this. I didn't know this, so this video is for the ones that did not know this. You do not have to only get lethal zones from the lethal shooter. Previously, the fastest way to get hot spots, in my opinion, was just go to the street ball court and just put up shots, put up shots, put up shots, and then, you know, you target a zone, you work on your shots in that, and then you'll get hot spots that way. And that way is perfectly fine, but like my grandma used to always tell me, boy, it's more than one way to skin a cat. There's multiple ways to get hot spots on NBA 2K25. I'm all about optimizing my time on NBA 2K, so when I'm grinding one thing, I'm always trying to grind multiple things at once. That way, I'm not having to dope down and spend more time in my career or in the street ball parks. I'm trying to get a lot of things accomplished at one time. So rather than just focusing on one hot spot while I'm playing a street ball game, I'd rather play a my career game and focus on getting my takeovers unlocked, getting through the season, getting my GOAT skills unlocked, as well as up in my overall. Now, I'm already at 99, so I don't have to worry about my points no more. But I know a lot of y'all probably not even at 99 yet, so them my points, they still really matter. In my honest opinion, the my career games is the fastest way and the most efficient way to get your hot spots, and it's easy to keep track of. If you just created a new my player or you haven't played no my career games, then it's it's pretty it's pretty simple on how to get your hot spots. You target an area and you want to shoot at least 75% from an area. Now, if you go six for six, six for six in the area, then that spot will automatically turn red. You feel me? It'll, it'll become a hot spot. And before we get too deep, let me just explain some hot spots on NBA 2K25 are very, very lethal. I don't know what 2K algorithm is on the behind the scenes for as pre-green windows, and they say it's some RNG that kick in after your fourth shot. I don't know what none of that means. The only thing I do know is areas that I have a hot spot, I, I make most shots consistently in those areas, rather than areas where I either got a cold spot or I got no spot at all. I just shoot better in areas that I got a hot spot. And ultimately, you do have to think about it like this. If there is cold spots, neutral spots, hot spots, and lethal spots, each area has to have a ranking. So I would imagine that there is some type of algorithm that's put in place for whether it's a hot spot, whether it's a neutral spot, a cold spot. Like there's something in that area that affects your shot. I'd rather just have the best opportunity or best chance at making the shot. I just grind my hot spots and I'm trying to get as many lethal spots as I can. I'm gonna put y'all up on game on how I start unlocking lethal spots while just playing regular my career game. In the off season on NBA 2K25, you have options this year on what you want to do. You can either pick between FIBA games, open run recruitments, or a trainer scrimmage. Now, although FIBA give you 25,000 VC when you complete that, you can only do it every three years. So the first two years is just recruitment years. You know, you just playing a regular scrimmage game. You get to pick two NBA players and you recruit them and then they'll play with you during FIBA. One year I did the, the recruitment game and then the next year I did the, the artist shooting. Now, when you pick the artist shooting, the training scrimmages with Chris Brickley or whatnot, basically all you doing in the offseason, you playing two scrimmages. Now, when I was doing this in my career, I didn't know what the stipulation was or what I would be receiving by doing this. I just I was just doing it because I didn't want to do the FIBA no more. So basically, it's an off-season quest where you have two scrimmages. And during these games, you got two options, right? You got two optional quests where you can make four three-point shots or make five mid-ranges. One of them I didn't complete, so I actually didn't lose the game. I just didn't complete the mid-range uh, the mid-range quest, but I did get the three-point quest. And right before the season started, it gave me, I, I got a little pop-up screen that popped up and it pretty much told me that, hey, because of the scrimmage, your three-point shot is boosted the rest of the season. I'm gonna answer the clip right here. And this clip is pretty much showing you that I did not have a, a lethal zone in the corner and how many shots that I had took in the corner. I didn't have a lethal zone in the corner once the season had started at all. And I did not go to the artist shooting drill because I can't even, I can't even do it right now. And to be honest, I only did it one time. I did the three weeks uh, artist shooting drill, and I haven't even had the option to even go back and do it again or whatnot. But 
This is how it looked when the season started. And right here is when I realized that I had got a lethal zone during the regular season. Oh, wait, time out. Yo, high spots can go lethal in, in my career? And this the thing, I was working on my, not my corner three, but like my elbow three on the left hand side. And I wasn't shooting no shots on the right side of the court. So the couple shots that I did end up taking might've been like little fast break shots. So I pull up or I do like a step back in the corner. It turned lethal. So basically all you want to do is once you get to the off season, if you're not in that third year where you can play the FIBA game, you want to do the trainer scrimmage. The trainer scrimmages give you an extra boost on your three point shooting and your mid-range if you complete the optional mid-range quest in the offseason. I'm not sure if these mid-range and three-point boosts carry over to regular modes like Rec, Pro-Am, and Park or whatnot, but I do know for a fact these hot zones and lethal zones that you will be getting fast as hell once you do this, they do translate over and they make your my players shoot a hundred times better. Like I said when the video first started, there's multiple ways to skin a cat, there's multiple ways to get hot zones, there's multiple ways to bass grind, on NBA 2K25, but you got to think about it. You're not only getting through the season fast as hell by focusing on your shooting and your hot zones or whatnot, but you unlocking your GOAT, all of your GOAT levels, you earning VC while you doing this, you feel me? And on top of that, you getting your lethal zones. And last but not least, when you playing these my career games, make sure it's cool. Drop it down a rookie, bro. Rookie is cool. Rookie is cool when you bass grinding. Rookie is cool when you overall grinding. Rookie is cool for my career, period. It's not a competitive mode. You know, we 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 literally trying to get tasks accomplished. So it's okay. Put it on rookie. You will zoom through the games faster. And you only want to play your key games. I forgot to mention that. You only want to do this on your key games. That way you get through the season. And you can just start piling on them championships over and over and over again. The last thing I want to add, when you're working on hot spots, use this time to work on your go-to moves and certain shots, right? If you're shooting the ball in the same area over and over and over again and you're trying to get used to rhythm shooting, only shoot with rhythm shooting bruh listen that motion of just shooting the ball over and over and over and over and over again it'll get so repetitive once you go into different modes it'll make you a better shooter because now you're not thinking about your timing you're not thinking about is you releasing the rhythm shooting right is you rolling it right is you flicking it right you are already used to the motion so the only thing you're doing at this point is adjusting your timing to the mode you feel me like this will ultimately make you a better shooter you feel me because you you practicing on the motion of actually shooting the ball bruh so get in my career like i said you killing more than one bird at a time and because we playing on rookie difficulty we ain't got to worry about the computer like doing od aggressive closeouts so basically all you want to do is just catch and shoot catch and shoot catch and shoot you can shoot out the dribble too but catch and shoots in my career on rookie every time you catch the ball and just shoot it you're considered open now the contest system is a little bit different this year and i feel like open really mean lightly contested like in my honest opinion open is lightly contested and so on but even though it says lightly contested i feel like this year you know lightly contested go in at a higher clip than what we used to seeing in the past but i don't want to rumble too much man y'all get in my career get to working on them hot spots over and over and over again in the off season make sure you do them screaming them training scrimmages, just get them extra boosts and man go ahead and get them lethal zones that way if 2k do adjust the shooting at some point in time and i i with me getting my lethal and high spot zones, bro, I don't really too much care about the shooting now, for real, for real. I, I really don't. If they don't ever do nothing to it, that's fine. If they do do something to it, then we'll ultimately just be better shooters with lethal and high spot zones. So, y'all, hop in my career, get on that ASAP, and yeah, that's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. In the comment section, let me know how you feel about it. Yeah, man, man, grind hard, checking up out of here.